thanks so much for joining in today. I would like to, today I'd like to show you how we go and get something like that, a Mickey Mouse model, which I have here open in Blender into a web AR project using web, using web AR studio. Just drinking a bit of water real quick. So that is not my model. I got that model from Sketchfab. So I basically downloaded this one here as an OBJ, brought it into Blender and exported it as DAE. Um, simply because I think DAE is easier for me to handle, but OBJ works pretty much the same in Web Arch Studio. So yeah. Having a quick look here into Web AR Studio, already prepared a scene here, just so you can have a look what it looks like. And I've also would like to show you how it looks. Hey there, how it looks in an actual AR scene. So there we go. We have our Mickey Mouse attached to the checkable here. And now how do we go and build something like that? So I said, you take your model, you download it, OBJ, DAE, whatever they have, and um, yeah, you go to Web AR Studio. Now, once it's loaded and once you've got everything, you set up your basic project to be an AR project. If you need information on how to do that, because I'm going through that really really quick now, just look at my old previous videos. It will be explained there. Now I'm gonna copy my trackable. Also if you need help on how to get those trackables done, there is another video. Just go back, have a look at that video. Um, that one is the magic button. Okay, so basically we have that now and that's here. That will be our scene. So next thing would be to add our Mickey Mouse. So as said, I prepared the object as in DAE and we simply pull that in. Now we need to say where we wanna have that one. If you would like to have a look at those projects, you can. I'm gonna save that one here now as public project. And um, yeah, importing, 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 and we import it. There we go, we've got our Mickey Mouse. Now the thing is that whole project comes with a light, which we don't need, so we're gonna remove that. It comes with a camera, which we don't need, so we're gonna remove that. Okay, so that would be basic Mickey Mouse. Let's save the whole project. We call it Mickey 2 because I already got one Mickey Mouse in public. And save. It's gonna tell you that it needs to upload the material JSON and the actual mesh of the Mickey Mouse. So we're gonna do that. And it's done. Okay, now well, basically, we've got a Mickey Mouse already. So if I hit play now, switch to the player. There we go. Not lagging much. Ah, the scaling is off, I guess. Yeah, it's tiny. It is tiny. Okay, yeah, 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 tiny. Let's scale that up a bit. So we say, oh, Mickey Mouse, make it a bit bigger, maybe five. And as we can see, it's halfway through the actual marker, so we want to raise it up a bit. Now it is on top. Let's give that another go. Go to the player. And, oh, pretty much here we go. Still a bit tiny. Uh, we can do, we can take care of that on the root node here. Just say we increase the size here by 10 as well. And then we've got our Mickey Mouse in a pretty 
nice size there. Uh, yeah, okay. So next thing, because she looks a bit boring in gray, would be to add the texture to the material. So we're gonna go to our Mickey Mouse object here. You can see that it has the material here. Let's say you want to edit that material. Go down to the texture and you would like to have the texture file, which we did not import yet. So um, yeah, pretty much the texture comes with the object when you download it from Sketchfab. So you just go here, place it, say where you want to save the texture, which we would like to have in the Mickey 2, which is not visible. That's odd. But we just place it in projects for now and import. And then we've got a Mickey Mouse. And it's glory, basically. So now let's run that again. Mickey Mouse. Ah, facing the wrong way and still upside down. That's a basic matter of rotations. So we can rotate it in 90 degrees. Well, let's just do 180. And run that through once more. It always depends a bit on the model that you get. How they are rotated. That doesn't seem to do anything. In that case, if that does not want to set it back to zero, we rotate the actual model. Oh, already has a rotation. Interesting. How about we make that plus 90 so she looks in the forward direction and then we go this way. And that should do the trick. There you go. You see. And that's your web AR project, your web AR experience, so to say. It's pretty easy, pretty quick. I guess it took me less than five minutes to actually build that thing. Now, as said, you can also now publish the whole experience. I'm gonna save it once more. Save. It's updating the material. And there you go. Uh, yeah, where was I published? So you could publish it. I made an episode on publishing. Have a look at the YouTube channel. And you can also have a look into the drive, into projects. So you see the projects that has been have been created. So it created Mickey and root projects. And there's another Mickey Mouse example here. Um, and your private projects would be here. These are all the public things. Highly appreciate you guys making things public so others can learn from your projects. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. A Mickey Mouse and WebAR. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.